All right, everyone. Welcome back to the land of Kev. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. And ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen it already, you do not want to miss my most recent appearance on Only Conspiracies and the Tinfoil Hat Podcast with the one and only Sam Tripoli. I have been a huge fan of Sam's for quite some time, and it was an awesome experience to finally get a chance to talk pyramid theories with the conspiracy daddy himself. So I'm going to leave a link in the video description below. Sam, thank you so much for having me on the show. It was an awesome time. As with all of these podcast appearances, we always end up talking about material that I haven't presented yet here on the Land of Chem YouTube channel. So definitely check it out. Only Conspiracies, the Tinfoil Hat Podcast with the one and only Sam Tripoli featuring yours truly. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome back. This is episode 28, the storage silo of the Step Pyramid Complex. So before we get started with tonight's episode, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the new subscribers here on the Land of Chem. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like, subscribe, comment, share, and help me get this material out there. So in tonight's episode, we're going to be discussing the storage silo that is located on the western side of the Step Pyramid Complex in Saqqara. I don't think I've even mentioned this particular component of the structure yet, so I figured this is an opportune time to describe exactly what this component is and what it was utilized for. I think that is it for the intro, so without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with tonight's episode. So this is the depiction of the area surrounding the pyramids of Saqqara. And you can see here that this depicts the season of the Shamu, which is the season of the harvest. And at this point of the year, the flooded water of the Nile River has completely receded, leaving all of these farmlands exposed. However, we all know that during the season of the Akhet, the season of the flood, the Nile River water would completely flood this entire area, bringing the water up to the valley temples, and the causeway system was utilized to conduct that water into the pyramids to facilitate the chemical reactions that were occurring inside. And you can see here that the Step Pyramid of Saqqara is not just some isolated pyramid out in the middle of the desert. This was a massive 40-acre industrial-scale methane manufacturing complex, and it included several components which facilitated the manufacturing process. And we're gonna describe one of those most critical components today, which is the large storage silo, which is located on the Western side of the Step Pyramid Complex. And you can see here in this other rendering, this is the silo that we're gonna be discussing today, this massive enclosure here on the Western side of the Step Pyramid Complex. And I'm gonna show some images and some diagrams that depict exactly what is inside of this component here in just a moment. And here are just a few pictures from my most recent 2021 expedition to Egypt, where we visited the Step Pyramid of Saqqara. And this is the area that we're gonna be referring today is the western side of the complex itself. And you can see here, there is not much that remains of this storage silo today. Even when you go to visit this site, they do not allow tourists to go here on the left side of the step pyramid. This area is completely closed off. They direct all of the traffic around this side of the pyramid if you wanna to go to the northern face of the structure. But this massive hill of sand here was originally a storage silo that was utilized in the chemical manufacturing process that was occurring inside of the step pyramid. And here's just another picture from the Southern Court. Again, you can see this massive pile of sand here in the background. This was originally that stored silo that we're gonna be referring to here in just a moment. All right, here is another exceptional 3D rendering of the Step Pyramid Complex in all of its glory. So today we're gonna to be talking about this massive storage silo here on the western side of the complex. However, I just wanted to point this out too. This is a massive industrial chemical manufacturing site. So there's gonna be many, many components within this complex that are different areas for that manufacturing process. So I'm also gonna show some pictures that were taken from this area here. I won't say exactly what I think this component of the structure was. We're gonna be discussing that in a later video, but you can see here what this area looks like today. 
keep in mind that a lot of this stuff has been reconstructed, not only in the ancient times, but also modern reconstruction. So I'm not implying that any of this is original construction, and this is just their best attempt to recreate what they think was here originally. But I do think that these were actually functional components of the structure, which again, we'll get to in a later video. And here's just a couple of their pictures showing these components on the eastern side of the step pyramid complex. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what is located inside of the step pyramid complex. So any of you that are familiar with the channel, we all know that my theory proposes that the step pyramid of Saqqara was utilized to produce methane gas from a slurry containing water, agricultural scrap material, and cattle manure. And I'm going to insert a quick animation here that shows the chemical reactions that were occurring inside of this structure. In this animation, we can see how this works. The waste material is mixed with water and enters the reactor and mixes with the material already in the reactor undergoing degradation. Biogas is generated in the slurry through anaerobic digestion. The gas bubbles then move to the top part of the reactor where gas accumulates and starts to build up pressure if the valve is closed. When the valve is closed, the gas pressure will increase and push down the slurry in the reactor and up into the overflow chamber. When then the gas is used, the gas pressure drops and the slurry level balances out to a new equilibrium. And so here on this diagram, you can see the similarities between the configuration of the step pyramid here on the left and the configuration of a modern biogas digester here on the right. So on the right, you have your inlet shaft, you have your primary digestion chamber, your displacement shaft, and a displacement tank. And that is exactly what we see in the configuration of the step pyramid. You have your inlet shaft, your primary digestion chamber, your displacement shaft, and your displacement tank, which is located on the southern side of the complex. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the original inlet shaft that is located on the northern face of the step pyramid. So here it is on the left. All of this again is mostly modern reconstruction, but you can see here on the right, this is the shaft that leads into the primary digestion chamber of the step pyramid. Of course, all of these steps were added much later. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what you will find inside of the Step Pyramid of Saqqara. And I'm going to insert a video here showing exactly what it's like to go through the modern entrance of this structure as you arrive into the primary digestion chamber. And this is the modern day entrance to the structure, which was excavated by the Persians, possibly, not an original part of the structure. And we are getting here to the central chamber of the step pyramid. And again, this rectangular chamber was excavated directly from the bedrock. And here, dun dun dun. Look at that. 33 pieces, well, 32 rectangular pieces of red granite and the 33rd piece being the plug. And this is your original inlet shaft. All right, now that I've provided a brief overview of the chemical operations that were occurring here inside of the primary digestion chamber within the step pyramid, let's jump into an explanation of this component here, which is a large storage silo located on the western side of the complex. And this silo was used to house the agricultural scrap material that was a component of the slurry being produced here in the processing facility located on the northern side of the step pyramid. And that slurry contained your water, the agricultural scrap material, and the cattle manure catalyst. And that slurry was then introduced into the primary digestion chamber through this northern inlet shaft. And you can see here on the diagram that shows this storage silo, there is one entrance to the silo here located on the northern side of the structure that leads into three long north to south passageways leading throughout the storage silo. And there are galleries on each side of the passageways moving east to west. And inside of these galleries is where that agricultural scrap material would have been stored. So let's go back and look at the evolution of the step pyramid complex. And remember from our previous discussions, 
that the Step Pyramid was originally just a single level Mastaba platform. And this entire complex went through an evolution in construction and production. So as the demand for the methane gas increased, so did the scale of its pr production. And the Step Pyramid went through an evolution from this simple single level Mastaba platform into this massive 40 acre industrial scale met methane manufacturing complex. And this included the construction of components like this storage silo, which would facilitate the uninterrupted production of the methane gas. By storing your agricultural materials on site, that would certainly make it a lot easier to constantly produce that agricultural slurry, which contains the cattle manure as the catalyst to produce that methane gas. And you can see here that there are tons of galleries on each side of the passageways leading through this storage silo. And if you just do a quick precursory Google search of the step pyramid and grain storage, you will unfortunately be taken down the wormhole of the step pyramid being a grain storage silo that is somehow connected to Joseph, biblical Joseph, being the same person as Imhotep, which is the architect that is said to have designed the Step Pyramid complex. Several researchers are proposing that the Step Pyramid itself, the primary digestion chamber inside of the Step Pyramid, was actually a grain storage silo that dates back to the biblical times and somehow they connect Imhotep with being Joseph from the Bible. Feel free to go down that wormhole if you so choose. Nonetheless, several other researchers have proposed that the step pyramid is related to the storage of agricultural materials. However, I am proposing that it is not inside of the step pyramid itself where they were storing this grain, but it is here on the western side of the complex in this massive storage silo, and the grain that was located inside of these galleries was taken out when it was time to be used for the production of that slurry that was used to produce the methane gas. And here is another exceptional 3D rendering of the Step Pyramid Complex. And you can see this huge storage silo system here on the western side of the Step Pyramid. So again, it makes a lot of sense that in the evolution of this structure, they certainly would have started to build components that were on site that would facilitate the 24-7, 365 production of this gas, as opposed to waiting for deliveries of the agricultural scrap, scrap material to arrive at the site. So before I proceed to close with tonight's episode, I wanted to point out one critical detail about the Step Pyramid Complex. So during the modern renovation that has been underway inside this structure for the past 10 years or so, they excavated and removed tons of white calcite crystal from inside of the subterranean passages underneath this structure. All of that white calcite crystal was smashed to pieces, and then it was buried underneath the sands of the northern court of the Step Pyramid Complex so that it would never see the light of day. Whatever was built out of that white calcite crystal underneath this structure has been completely destroyed, and they have hidden all of the evidence of that material that was located inside of this structure. If you ever get a chance to go to Egypt, just go to the northern court of the Step Pyramid Complex, dig around in the sand, and I guarantee you, you will find smashed up pieces of white calcite crystal that have been buried in that northern court. The second point that I want to make, that all of this rubble here from on the northern court was actually discovered inside of the Step Pyramid, and they removed all of this material. And during my 2021 research expedition, I discovered this very unusual stone, which has a depiction of a mechanical component. This is not a star, ladies and gentlemen, and I've discussed that in previous episodes about the Step Pyramid. This is a functional mechanical component. So if you flip this stone upside down, you can very clearly see exactly what this mechanical component is. I won't spoil the surprise at this point, but I will simply say that this component was utilized in the chemical manufacturing process of the Step Pyramid Complex, and it was used to produce... All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Step Pyramid of Saqqara. And in the distance, the red and bent pyramids of Dashur.
and we will be seeing these soon enough here in the land of Kem. And just a quick reminder to definitely check out my most recent podcast appearance on Only Conspiracies and the Tinfoil Hat Podcast with the one and only Sam Tripoli. Sam, thank you so much for having me on the show. Link in the video description below. And just a quick reminder that limited first edition print copies of the Land of Chem book are now available at thelandofchem.com. So if you want to help support the channel, just go to the website. You can pick up a copy of the book, grab yourself a t-shirt. Either way, all the orders mean so much to me. So thank you all so much in advance. All right, everyone, that is it for tonight's episode. This was episode 28, the storage silo of the Step Pyramid Complex. I really hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Thank you so much to all of the new subscribers here on the Land of Chem YouTube channel. If you're enjoying the material, please subscribe. If you like the video, <laughs> leave it a like. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, leave it in the comment section below. I genuinely enjoy interacting with everyone in the comment section and hearing what you guys think about these videos. If you want to help support the channel, the website is thelandofchem.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at thelandofchem. I think that is it for tonight's episode, so I will see you next time. <laughs>